and I am excited about my guest because we talk about law of attraction and she's a law of attraction expert for sure. And she definitely studies not just the simple stuff where people say they're law of attraction experts and all they do is quote the secret. Rika quotes more than that. So Rika, Rivka, Markel back on the show today. And we're going to talk about something that a lot of people don't do before they start to practice the law of attraction, start to become create divine creators, create things. The thing that they make a mistake on is they allow, I guess, baggage to get in the way or different things. And you're going to talk about what you need to do to be able to make that quantum leap in your growth spiritually uh, through the law of attraction. Yeah, we're we're all about that. And and thank you again, Neil, for having me back. I really enjoy uh, talking to you. And I um, I really feel like people also enjoy our content because you are asking always the right questions. And I love that. <laughs> so today we would love to talk about the idea that you have to let go first of the old before the new can come in. And uh, it was an, a question that we got this week from somebody like, you know, I am manifesting all, I do my visualizations, I do everything. And I told people like, you have to feel it as if you have it already. And she, she, she asked me and she says, how can you, um, how can you, I said, and you have to love, um, you have to let go of whatever it is that you have right now. Let's and I made the example for a car, like you have a car, but you love your car so much that you cannot let go of your car, your old car. So the new car cannot come in. And she says, well, I hate my car. Why is my new car not here yet? And so what I did was, is I um, I made sure that, um, I made sure that she understood that it is the, it doesn't matter which emotion you have, if it's a good or a bad emotion, because emotions, the, the mind doesn't understand good or bad. The mind just feels I am emotional connected to what I have, bad, bad or good. It doesn't really matter. So you can hate your car. That's a very strong emotion. So your car is going to stay with you. You are not letting it go. So the answer to all this is that you have to get into a state of neutrality. Okay. I think it's an interesting, it's an interesting concept. So what does that really mean? It means that you have to detach from what you have. You cannot just say, um, I want a new house and you visualize the new house and you visualize everything that's in there and you, you feel it as if you're living already there. When you are not in a state of neutrality, which means I'm happy when I have it, I'm happy when it doesn't come, you cannot be attached to it. You cannot be attached to anything because then you have no, if you're attached to something, it is holding you back. It doesn't matter. And that, matter. Attachment could, that attachment could be good or bad, right? Good or bad, it like, doesn't like matter. You're like, because you're in this house that's running, run down, certain things are go, not going right. You constantly are fixing it. I want this brand new house or I'm dreaming of this house on the beach and uh, visualizing all of it. But then you're complaining about the current house you're in. Yes, exactly. And if you do that, that's those negative emotions of not being happy in it. They attach you to it. So that you're now you're attached to the old story. So now there is no room for a new story. Let me give you a business oh. analogy. Let's go with a business one and see if I'm on the right track from what you're teaching me. If I say, oh yeah, I just right now, I desire to, you know, 10X my business, but I'm complaining about where I'm at all the time in my current business. Like I'm not, I'm not, I don't have gratitude for my clients. I don't have gratitude for what I'm, where I'm at right now in the journey. And I'm I, the, the 10X thing's not happening, is it? It's not happening because you're emotionally attached to something. And the law of attraction says that whatever, so you're going to act as if you already have it, but you do that with the emotions. But if your emotions are so strong with what, like negative emotions are going to attach to something too. It doesn't matter if they're good or bad. The mind doesn't know what's good or what's bad. That's not how you create. So you have to be, first of all, grateful for what you have today, not being attached to it. That's the other thing. And not being attached to it means 
that you can also not complain about it or be angry or frustrated. That is also an attachment. You have to be neutral. And then when you're neutral about your old situation and also neutral towards your new, but you do appreciate it and you feel it as if you already have it, then it will come to you. You create a space. You cannot, it's the same thing. Like you cannot build a brand new house on top of a shitty house. You have to break it down first. And then right. you put the new one on top of it. Okay. So you have to let go of the old. If you're attached good or bad, it doesn't matter. You have to detach from it. And then you have to attach the good feelings, the gratefulness, everything that's good to the new. And then you allow it to come into your life. What about the old? Are you supposed to be grateful of the old too? You have to be grateful for everything because gratefulness, it, the mind, again, it's not going to know if you're grateful for the for the new or for the old. The mind is not that smart. In a, in so any if way. we're in a situation that's a tough situation and we constantly are bad mouthing it it's never going to change it will never change it will never change because that's what you connect to it's so if you think the change. economy is bad and you're complaining the economy is bad it's going to affect you exactly. so that's why the news can affect you the law of cause Everything. and effect is a very yes. big part of it yes. right exactly 100 percent. and i think and i feel that a lot of people don't really understand the power of that right. it is extremely powerful if you if you keep complaining about stuff there is no way that you are going to create the life of your dreams. You have to be grateful because that is going to open up the space. And, and then if you connect all that negativity to your old, to what you don't want, guess what? That's exactly right. what you're going to create. So I look back a couple of years when I'd start complaining about clients, things would get worse, not better. Exactly. Now where I'm constantly trying to strive for greatness, regardless of what they're saying, it ends up becoming great. It's a very, very, very simple thing that people just don't get. So yeah. that's why we have to monitor how we think all the yeah. time because our subconscious will just shut us down. Your subconscious is so much in charge. So one of the things that I do, I want to give a practical tool because it helped me a lot. And it also helped me to get to the point of understanding how powerful it is. So every morning, we I don't know if we have ever spoke about the power of the pen. Like if you take a pen and you write down what you want, it's so much more powerful than when you just have it in your I head. already saw that. I mean, that's yeah. what write down you everything. Manifest it, okay, you manifest. So every morning I start my day and I write the, the date and then I, I write today I am grateful for. And then I list 13 things every day. Mm. And, and I just do 13 or why, I don't know. It's my number, doesn't matter. Uh, but you should do at least 10 things. And I write... The things that I'm grateful for, they can be in the past, the things that I want to keep. Let's say I'm very grateful for my children and my grandchildren, but I will also write all the things in the present time, in the present tense, what I want to get. I am grateful for my new car and the right. car is not even on my driveway yet, but I'm grateful for it. I'm already grateful. So at least half of those things, at least six or seven things that I write on that list will be things that I don't have yet, but that I want. And I am grateful for them today. So that is what helped me. And I'm doing this for years already. And I do this every day. It's like I have my book under here. So it's like every day I would write today, I am grateful for, and I would list and and a lot of people ask me why do you do things that didn't happen yet because that's there is no time they are here so you have you have to say you're grateful for the things even that didn't happen so yes. should the list should the list be mixed yeah i do mixed i do half half or at least it doesn't matter like it but i definitely add at least six seven things that i don't have yet that's how i manifested my road trips i'm so happy and grateful today that i am on a road trip in spain i wrote that three years ago and today wow. i'm on my road trip you know it's like you the mind has no clue if it's now or tomorrow it could be tomorrow or, wherever it's it like be, wow not for the mind everything is happening now and you and, can make changes that's one thing mike yeah. murphy talks about you could change your plan and what you write down as your dreams every 100%. time how many how many yeah. Uh, things you're talking about the last thing in the vacating things are you you're neutral 
How many goals can you set for yourself or not goals, but dreams? Cause we talked about goals being something you can attain. Yeah. A dream is a quantum leap. And yes. I remember that from learning from you before. So how many dreams can you write down? Uh, Mike Murphy says you can have many, but it could become crazy. But yeah, no, but one of the other things also, and maybe we should talk about that next week. You need that to write we, that down because I, I probably might not well, forget I, that. I will remember because okay. one of the things also is that you only need to have, you only need to write a dream down one time, one time and forget about it. Be detached from it to in the, like you forget about it. And then you will understand if you try that, you try that with something that is not really affecting you. If you do that process, you're going to see that those things that you only thought about one thing and that you're not attached to, like you, you don't really care if they come or they don't come, they come the fastest. Wow. And that's when you start to realize what detachment really means. All right. And, and, and we can talk about that next time. And I think a lot of people. Will, that'll be deep. That will be yeah, a deep thing. Deep. So the best uh, place people will go. You want people to go to your YouTube channel, right? That's where yeah. you want them to go. 100%. There's way more about this topic. And also you can also ask me questions there. And I will. I'm so excited always when I get questions, but at, because at least I know that one person will be, will benefit from what I'm saying. I like that you, the way you coach, because the reason that you coach people this way is because you live it. Some people coach this, but don't live it. You, the way you act, the way you speak is the way you should be coaching. And if you're not living that, you're not living that, that lifestyle. And uh, thanks again for stopping by. And I could feel it all the time talking to you, you try to live what you teach. And that a lot of teachers don't live what they teach, but you do. I don't know. I, that's my thing. And I love sharing my, what my, just whatever is going on in my life, because I'm always excited about that. And I know if I can do it, everybody can do it. Exactly. All right. Thanks Rika. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley show. And we'll be back in just a moment.